Now, I call upon the University Orator to present the candidate for a degree honoris causa. Chancellor, I have a great pleasure in proposing Professor Noel Fitzpatrick for the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Professor Fitzpatrick is Managing Director, Clinical Chair and Chief Surgeon at Fitzpatrick Referrals, the largest wholly owned independent veterinary referral center in the UK. He's also well known for the SuperVet television show in which Channel 4 follows him and his team as they provide life-changing care for animals in need of their help. He started his career obtaining a Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine from the University College Dublin in 1990. He followed these with scholarships at the Universities of Ghent and Pennsylvania. He attained broader special specialist status by examination both in USA and in the UK with the degrees of American College of Veterinary Sport Medicine and Rehabilitation and Diploma in Small Animal Surgery. Noel has created three world-renowned referral veterinary facilities under the, Fitzpan the Fitzpatrick Referrals Banner. In 2005, Orthopedics, Neurosurgery and Rehabilitation. In 2015, Oncology and Soft Tissue Surgery and in 2018, the Fitzpatrick Institute for the rest Restoration of a Skeletal Tissue with a specific focus on regenerative medicine. His centers have redefined the standard of care for companion animals and inspire both veterinary and human medical advance globally. Fitzpatrick Referrals currently employs more than 250 veterinary professionals. Professor Fitzpatrick has an impressive research track record. He has published more than 70 research papers in diverse areas, including surgical techniques, orthopedics, and spinal implants, and the elucidation of disease epidemiology. Through his work with his companies Fitzbionics and Fitzregen, he is also pioneering the development of new implants and regenerative techniques to alleviate suffering and pain for patients who cannot otherwise be treated and inspiring a new generation of human implants and therapeutics. A number of the technologies he has pioneered have featured not just in respected veterinary journals, but also in broader media across the globe. His commitment to education and learning is clear. Professor Fitzpatrick has delivered more than 1,000 lectures around the world and has been awarded the Bloomberg, Simon and Blaine Awards for teaching and contributions, contributions to veterinary surgery. He's, he has also sponsored many fellowships, internships, and PhDs globally, including one at our university. Professor Fitzpatrick has been instrumental in the promotion of the concept of one medicine within the UK. This is the principle that many diseases are shared between humans and animals, and therefore there are significant benefits from the cross-pollinization of the learning between human medicine and veterinary practice. With the aim of promoting one medicine, Professor Fitzpatrick has established the Humanimal Trust, a charity that facilitates the collaboration between vets, doctors, bioengineers, researchers, and scientists for the benefit of all living beings. As well as his impact as a researcher, vet, and educator, Professor Fitzpatrick is a truly inspiring figure. As evidenced by his forthcoming arena tour, which has never been attempted by a medical professional. His strong belief in his mission to translate the love between an animal and a human into a global currency, the importance of health and welfare for all species, and the impact that this has on society in general is contagious. I have witnessed how he has taken a group of our young engineering students into his operating theater to observe surgical procedures on animals, illustrating the challenges, the scope, and potential for improvement. This has stimulated and motiva motivated these young minds to produce superb designs 
and solutions to problems they have resonated with and embraced. He ignites potential in all around him. We all know the pain and suffering disease can cause to our friends, our family, and our pets. And we all recognize the importance of an advanced healthcare system. It seems to me that this can only be achieved if the medical sciences are connected to our human empathy, sensitivity, and warmth towards others of all species. Professor Fitzpatrick is, in my view, a clear example of this connection. Professor Fitzpatrick's achievements as a leader in veterinary medical practice should serve as an inspiration to all young people embarking on their careers and perhaps especially to our graduates. Chancellor, I present to you Professor Noel Fitzpatrick, who is eminently worthy to receive the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you a degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. much. I thought surgery was difficult. <laughs> this Velcro uh, is uh, magnificent. I should uh, try it in surgery. Um, <laughs> this is beautiful, don't you think? Thank you very much. It's a huge honor uh, for me to be here this afternoon and uh, to receive this honorary degree. Um, I'm amazingly humbled. Uh, thank you very much, everybody who studied so hard for your exams. Uh, Einstein once said that Imagination is way more powerful than knowledge, for knowledge is finite. But imagination embraces the world, igniting possibility and is the birthplace of innovation. I saw the parents and everybody with their beautiful costumes who know how to put them on, <laughs> walking down the street outside and I was particularly moved because I saw you as kind of the guardian angels of innovation. And I think it's beautiful that you think this is the end. It's only the beginning. And I learned this from another incredibly intelligent Irishman called Larry, who was quite like Einstein. He lived in a cottage with his cow. And I did my first ever orthopedic operation on a kitchen table in his uh, cottage. And uh, I fixed the dog's femur fracture in his uh, cottage because there was no other options. And... At the end of that procedure, he said something to me that was almost as powerful as Einstein. He said, there you go now. Sure, everything is impossible until it happens. <laughs> and how right he was. Everybody told me everything in my career was impossible. It's impossible to get your veterinary degree. It's impossible to set up Fitzpatrick referrals. It's impossible to get a television show. It's impossible to have an arena tour. Who's going to listen to you? In fact, it's impossible to perform at the Theatre Royal. <laughs> Thank you very much. So in honor of that, actually, that was said to me. It wasn't this particular Theatre Royal, but I was very fortunate to meet a mentor in my life called Philip, and it is to him that I dedicate this degree. Everybody needs their heroes, and I'm honored that all of you are my heroes because Philip said something to me that was incredibly important, and that is I was very confused. I didn't know what to do with my life. I was down. I was feeling depressed. And this happens to all of us. And I said, Philip, I don't know the reason why. You know, I have this degree. I don't know the reason why. And he said to me, it's not for you to understand the reason why, but it is for you to understand a reason big enough. And that changed my life, and I would like all of you to have a reason big enough to grow, to 
expand your knowledge. And to do the echo of what you said earlier, we're in the Theatre Royal, and I think it's important to remember what Her Majesty the Queen said to me, and I was deeply moved, an extraordinary human being. I met her, and we had a conversation about education. And she said to me, education shouldn't be about the self. It shouldn't be about what you can do for you. Because you will get everything you want if you give enough to others. That is the value of an education, to realize the effect that you can have on the world. So I would wish for all of you that your effect is enormous, that you are the one at the end of Innovation One. So I'm going to add an E onto the end of Innovate just for you today in the Theatre Royal because I want you to go out into the world, have a reason big enough, contribute to society, and in so doing, you will truly be great because, as I said at the beginning, all of these young, wonderful human beings are all guardian angels of the future. And I feel intensely proud to be standing here today along your side and to say to you, thank you so much for everything you're about to give to the world and to promise you that we believe in you and we look to you for the inspiration of the future. Imagine bigger than you ever dreamed and then the knowledge you have learned, as Einstein said, will serve you well. And just to finish with Larry's comment, because I think it's worthy, everything is impossible until it happens. And so today, we wish you well, go out into the world, innovate, dream big, and make it happen. Thank you so much.